Hey guys, welcome back to Medieval Minecraft Creations, episode 104. <laughs> I forget the numbers. Uh, well, whatever it is. All right, let's go into this thing here. Now you're looking at these buildings, and you probably saw them last time, and you're like, oh, what? Something's changed on them. Yeah, totally. Like I did the gate, and I want to show you the gate. See, there's a gate. I'm not gonna show it to you yet. Um, I'm gonna show you. I did a lot of improvements in the area around the front gate. And this will be today's project. Yes, I'm doing the Zeppelin, and I know you're probably wondering what this is, but I will show you that in a minute, too. So hold on. All right, so we did some improvements in this, these buildings here. I basically did this, the exact same decorative work on both. But I'm still doing nothing inside of them yet. I, don't, I still haven't done that. But these were those two, like, kind of barracks buildings that were kind of on either side. So I just want to quickly go over these and put little eaves on things, and upside-down eaves and little shutters and whatnot, and... Um, Kind of did some, uh, you know, some of this kind of stuff on the bottom. And um, that's basically it. It's really nothing nothing major. Um, mostly stuff just to make it look a little nicer. If you put some garnishments on it, it looks a lot nicer, I think. And it, I, I, I think it does. I'm just extended, you know, some of the roadway thing. I figured I'd make an arch in here. I might change this. Or alter this. I'm not sure. I might extend the stone up further on that, but we'll see. All right, here is our working gate. Still works. Yes, I spliced it all in there, and it still works. Um, that was from last episode. So if you want to see how it works, go back to last episode. And the actual tutorial on how to make the working gate is on Reventism's channel, and it's on. Um, so there's an annotation in that actual video that directly links you right there as you see it works all timed redstone all the guts are underneath here and it still works after having it put in there um, most of the decoration still proper now basically last time you'd seen that I only had one of these buildings but I kind of duplicated it over here and this really is just the same building as that anyway and um, I decided to make like a little tower kind of thing here let me just pull back so you get a nice view of the front. There you go. That's sort of what it is. And I did like a pretty elaborate design on the uh, on the roofs. Um, I think it's just like you have to wing it sometimes on these things. But the towers were a little odd shaped. So I think that's a mistake, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now it's fixed. All right, so I didn't want to waste too much time showing this, but um, eventually we're going to have a project, probably not, well, I don't know, maybe soon, where we just do a bridge over here to that pathway that leads to the woods and goes off to our old castle. Now this here, this is the start of our Zeppelin. I was basically just going to extend this either way and then kind of just taper so it looks like like a Zeppelin. All right, now I know that uh, that's one stickler I kind of mentioned in... Um, 102 episode 102 about all the channel policy comments and whatnot we had some kind of an issue with the flying ship I had from what episode 101 so let me tell you this right now this is actually not medieval in fact I've never seen a ship quite like this in existence nor have I ever seen the flying ship we made in 101 ever in existence in medieval times so uh, yeah for those of you that uh, maybe have some kind of mental problem yeah, this isn't going to be medieval. This might be a little bit steampunk-ish. I don't know. It might be a little steampunk-ish, but I don't know what you would call it. It's just going to be a big frickin' balloon, more elongated shaped, kind of things hanging off the side. And this is the problem I was saying as from last episode. Now, we got to come up with a way to attach it. And I'm guessing I'm just going to do some something like this. Like, it's just going to be held on by you know a couple cords to me that didn't quite work right for me but I mean there's no other way really to do it if you're gonna make it it's just it, it would have to look it would probably look better if you made it bigger because you wouldn't see these uh, these things as much but I, I don't know I, I guess I'm not gonna make it as big as I was originally planning on so what I'm gonna do pause it I'm gonna basically be extending this out 
and extending this out this away and that's our balloon but what we do at the ends here they'll be kind of tapered tapered in so it's going to be kind of oval shaped all right okay came back i know it looks like i did a lot here but this is going to be a really kind of simple one um once you extend these down basically you're just going to go in on on basically everywhere one and you go up two doing it again basically make it a square shaped and I just try to top it off like this. I suppose you can do that too. It depends on how pointy you want it to be. And um, I'm just going to repeat this design on the other side here. And I'll pause while I do that. Okay, came back. Starting the actual body of this thing. Um, as you see, I just basically made a line of wood, different color. And I put these in just to maybe make a slightly aero more aerodynamic kind of a shape to it, kind of like what we did with the last one. Um, I do apologize for not being so authentically medieval to that one fellow who's crazy. So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, just um, extend these in here. And um, I think we'll just have to taper the fronts and the backs, kind of like how we did with some of the other boats we've done in the past. As you see here, I just basically put in upside down stairs going down by three. So this actually is sort of a tutorial. I put three of these here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, um, I'm not sure what color I want to make the under part of the hull. I'll probably get, well, I guess I'll just stick with this color for now. And I'm going to kind of go down like that. So what it's going to be like, and we'll continue down like this. So this is so easy, this tutorial, I mean, and how I'm doing it. I'm doing everything step by step in this. You should have no problem making this yourself. I mean, really shouldn't. All right, so now put another thing in there. Whatever the color is you want for the bottom. But I think I'm gonna actually going to change it up and make it a log instead. And that'll be the design of it. Alright, so now the onward and upward here to the making of the actual front parts tapering inwards. Now this is going to be a little difficult and I am winging it here. So I'll try, I don't really quite know, this is where the, this is where it gets complicated basically is what I'm saying. So basically I'm going to rim this part here with just a full block as you see and then I'm basically gonna, I'm gonna go in one more so I can't really do it like that let's see oops not like not a brick we're actually wanted to use the upside down stairs in this step and do it one more time now what you might want to do is actually go in by go two more so stupid me, I probably should have gone like this, sorry. So going two. Um, now remember, this is only for the front of the boat that we're doing this. The back is going to be a little more angular. It's going to be easier to do. The front is the only one that just gets a little complicated. No, I don't think I want it like that. Alright, I think the basically we just do kind of taper it in again like this and you just kind of go forward with it again. Sorry. You go by two more. How's that? Yeah, that works for me. And um, just have this go up again. Once you get it done, it'll look kind of neat. So you do it there, you're gonna, you're gonna have to cover up that hole also. So hold on here a moment. Sorry. Okay, gonna eliminate these here. And so where it's showing through, you wanna put a block so you don't have that showing through. Let's make sure when you check on the inside. Yep. And let's do one more, right? A 
All right. And you just go up with this again. Now this is going to be the front bow of the ship probably. This will stick out. And I'll probably just have it kind of go back here to there. And um, we want this to extend. All right, so let's see how we can do this here, because we're going to have to do a little bit of fancy work here also. All right, so I think we will now use stairs normal size up. Actually, yeah. All right. And just kind of go like that for a couple up. And that one gets fixed. This side also. And that's that's that. That's the front. And we'll kind of go in. No. You don't want this to be on top of a stair. So just kind of copy the design like that. And that should be it, really, for the front. I mean, that is comp more complicated, yes, but I think it it's ultimately going to be looking pretty good. They could have, like, like kind of how those other boats have, where there's, like, a line going to the front of it. Yeah, like that. Now, from back further, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, no, like I said, this is because of this issue. I mean, it's like you can't really string strings up on this thing. It's just that's sort of the way. That's the only problem with these sorts of boats. That, you know, it's not much you can do about it. It's just um, living in a square world. That's really the only thing you can do is just make things looking like this. And I'll extend it a couple more so it looks nice. You could have something sticking out of the sides like this. Now this thing here, this back part, we're going to go simple with. Um, just like what you're seeing here, this block. Sticking those blocks out. Stick block there. Okay. Now I'm going to go out two. And then we're just going to probably raise it slightly. I know that's one of those little stickler things that our psychotic friend maybe didn't like, but it makes it look more like a medieval or colonial era. So sorry. So sorry for the colonial era ship, but uh, please try and bear with it. Okay? Okay. I know it's difficult in your ADD adult minds, but I'll try and I'll try and do it for you. I'll try and uh, try and go slow for you. I'm gonna rim this like this. Um, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Awesome, and we will, and I'm going to leave that open for, actually, for a window, but we'll, we'll make the window right now. Okay, there you go. Probably could have actually made that into that darker wood, huh? Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, I want to use this here. Kind of want to like throw some other colored stuff in here, otherwise it just looks a little too plain looking. Um, since you don't have like a thing going up to the ships, I mean, you really could just have your your walkway go any down anywhere. No, I'm gonna do it right here. Uh, where is this? We'll still do a mast in the ship. Like this. No, oh, that's, what is that exactly? That's probably, yeah, that's why. We'll do a stairway or a ladderway there in a minute. So it looks like an actual cargo dinghy. 
Whoa, look at that. Cargo everywhere. Isn't that great? I don't like to look when it's like there's two, but you know, like two together. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of make it look like it, it's all sort of stacked up in there. There you go, cargo. Propeller. All right, let me... Now, I've seen some with propellers up here. And I've seen some with propellers down here. Um, and I've seen some, like, they have, like, wings and then propellers on the wings. Or, like, things hanging off the side here, like where this thing is. So I really don't know what to do. I mean, you can do it any way you want, okay? So let me just tell you that up front. You can do it any way you want. I don't really care what you do. Um, I'm just going to come up with a, a semi-decent design here. And hopefully you like it. If not, I don't care. Okay, this is propeller design number two. I just tried making a propeller. It looked way too, way too crappy. It just looked crappy. It was terrible. I don't really know. I'm going to end up doing it just like at an angle. Like this. Because being too bulky is just not going to work for me. Um, let's just do four, I guess, right? You do four like this. I know it doesn't look like it's really attached there, but... Alright, so I'd rather have that design than the one we just had, which was pretty bulky looking, looked terrible. Well, I will make it look like it's more mechanical by... What I'll do, we'll just... Let's do it like this. Don't know if that works for me, but... Let's pull back and see how that works. There you go. Do an upside down one here. Nope, not like that. The other way. There. Oh, that's pretty neat. It actually looks like some kind of weird gear thing. Alright, so I'm going to leave that design. Now again, you can make this propeller here. You can make small things off of little mini wings here if you want. I've seen all kinds of different types in the steampunk world, but I don't even know if this is steampunk. It's whatever this is. I'm going to pull back here a little bit. And looks good enough for now. Perhaps we'll revisit Zeppelins at a later time and make a bigger, bulkier version with a larger balloon. Um, this really isn't supposed to be like uh, anything like massively huge, but I guess it's just going to have to do. Alright, I hope you guys at least enjoyed this. I tried doing this all step by step. So more like a tutorial, like where if you want to do it yourself, you can do it. And so you should be able to do this. Um, I'm going to try not to edit it down much. I'm going to probably move this over to where we have our other airships. But I just I wanted to show you. I built it here just because I wanted you guys to see all this work I'd done on the, on the gates. And um, thank you guys for watching, as I usually do. And I'm, I'm not quite sure what the next project will be. Um, I don't feel like going back to the Mage Quarter. I pretty much got it all done. I got to do a little more tweaking on the walls there. This is all done here, gate. So I guess we could do that bridge out there. I have a couple ideas. I want to actually do some buildings here as you come into town and have some buildings actually arch over the top of the road. But they're going to be a little bit like the, that medieval village we did in episode 100, where it's going to have um, kind of like white wool, cobble, and maybe some wood look to it. And uh, look a little more, I don't know what, how, how you'd explain it, but you'll see what I mean when I actually make them. I think probably the whole area between here and the aqueduct we'll, we'll have a bunch of houses that are kind of the same architectural look and uh, maybe the first one would just be that one I have arching over the road so that's it folks I will catch you guys next time this is Mad Rabbit signing off adios